Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing the Kylie Skin Kit and I'm going to be trying everything out. And honestly, I was very hesitant to try this out because I have very sensitive skin. The only thing I use on my skin, to be honest, is the Cetaphil cleanser because I, my skin is so sensitive, it reacts to everything. So I haven't really been using skincare products in like over a year or two. So this is really gonna put it to test if it's good for sensitive skin or not, which I, I've heard that, I've heard mixed reviews. I've heard that it's good, and then I heard it shook people's skin away. So I'm a little nervous, but we're gonna give it a try. And please excuse my disgusting nails when I show you the products because I just got this in today and I wanted to use it. And I haven't got my nails done, but it is what it is. So we're gonna get into this video and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so this is the kit. I don't know what to call it. Is it a kit? Yeah, I guess it's a kit. So as you can see, it comes with the face wash, the moisturizer, the walnut scrub, the toner, the eye cream, and the serum, the vitamin C serum. So I'm gonna be trying out all of these products today and we're gonna see if it destroys my skin or not, which I'm really hoping it doesn't. Because like I said, I don't really do skincare, which is something I'm going to try to get into. I guess like I just have to find the right products. I just have to find the right products that aren't going to make me break out or give my skin a bad reaction. It's just like, it's so scary trying new products out because you just never know when it's like, you know, it's, just, it's kind of scary. Go to sleep. So I'm just going to oh. do a little dot. Okay. On a cotton pad. So, so then the toner. Really prepare my face. Oh wait. Right when you put it on, I will use my face moisturizer. I love my face moisturizer because that is my okay. routine. Wait, what the hell? Hold on. Okay. The best All right. So what she did was the. All right. Hold up. Give me a sec. If you guys have sensitive skin, you know just like how nerve wracking this is for me. But we're gonna get started products are very pleasing to look at so that's a plus side so it might ruin my skin but at least it's aesthetically pleasing so the first product that i'm going to try out is the foaming face wash so let's give it a try i'm very nervous i'm very very nervous to say the least but we're just gonna do it okay so i'm gonna wet my face first okay i'm just gonna use one pump. Okay, you see? There's like water dripping over there. But that one pump did, I think I used a little too much. So I think I might have used a little bit too much because like that one pump did give a lot of product. So next time maybe I would use like half a pump or something, but so far, I'm not burning yet. So, so far, so good. My face doesn't feel like it's burning off yet, so that's a good sign. Um, I actually really do like this face wash. I like the foam. I'm, like I said, I am new to skincare, so I really did like the foam. And I felt like it did clean my face pretty good, actually. Hmm, not bad. We'll see. To the next product okay so this is the this is the, this is the one we're a little skeptical about this is the walnut face scrub i'm going to use the tiniest amount of this because like i said i'm scared <laughs> but this is what this one looks like once again excuse my name okay it's focusing on me all right this is gonna look so nice in my bathroom all of this all right so i'm gonna use literally like that much like a little pea size because we don't want to get too crazy up in here okay wish me luck i'm gonna put that a little down so you can see all right this is like an exfoil exfoliator 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 am i saying it right i just said i can't speak i'm sorry all right was i supposed to wet my face Okay, maybe this is not like a good video because I don't even know what the heck to do, but just on my face a little. We're scrubbing. We're scrubbing. Oh, we're scrubbing. I'm going to scrub extra right here because where my blackheads are on my nose, on my chin. So I'm just going to scrub. Maybe get some of that dead skin off. 
skin. Yeah, all right, now I'm gonna wipe it off because I don't want it to be on my skin for too long. <laughs> but I am, I am gonna be using these products for the next week, so I'll give you an update on how my skin looks. I might put it at the end of this video or I might do like a follow-up video, we'll see. But yeah, so you'll see after a week. I'm not gonna just do it one time and be like, here's my review because I feel like that's not, what is that gonna do for you, you know? You need, you need results. You need to see what it's gonna do. Okay, once again, I'm being very gentle. I'm not pulling or anything on my face. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, obviously my face is red, but it's just because I scrubbed it, so can't really say like you know but i don't know my skin does look i i'm not saying this because i'm a kylie fan like i'm 100 percent gonna be honest because like okay wait okay wait a minute my face is turning really red all right hold on but to be honest this is where i scrubbed i scrubbed really good right in here and right here so i think that's just why but um honestly my skin looks really it feels really soft and it looks soft and like I'm gonna show you my problem area. Like this is my problem area right here. And then I have like one pimple, one pimple here. Um, so yeah, so like right there. I don't really break out that bad. It's just like I want my skin to you know look better. You know, <laughs> like I don't know. But I don't know. My I don't know. I really like this. Also, I want to say I have combination skin. I have dry and oily skin. I get really oily like right here and on my forehead. But right now, like I don't know. It's kind of cool. It looks. Looks good. So. I can't get these products out, so maybe I should not. So the next product I'm using is the toner, Vanilla Milk Toner, and I'm excited to try this. I've never used a toner before, so I'm not supposed. I'm not sure how it's supposed to feel or look or whatever, but what, we'll see. I'm just gonna use a cotton. I'm just gonna use a cotton ball and put. A little bit there. Mm, has a little smell to it. Hopefully that doesn't set it off, right? All right, so I'm just gonna like put like that. Okay, maybe I should put a little more, but yeah, I'm gonna put a little more. I feel like I didn't like it enough. Maybe my skin relaxed a little, you know? Let me just tell you something. Proactive or ruin my skin. I did that shit when I was like. 10 years old like i don't even know like when i first got my period and i started breaking out i tried that and honestly it worked for a year or two and then it's just like my skin was never the same like once it got bad it got bad and not even the sense like it made me break out it made me break out like in hives like my skin looked disgusting it was horrible like i hated going to school but thank god that's over with so the toner like i'm not sure really what it did but it feels nice, honestly. I feel like it made my skin a little bit more glowy. I'm not sure what toner does, so if you could let me know in the comments, that'd be nice. But I like it. My skin's still red though. But I really just think it's because I scrubbed really good. And I hope, like, I think that's just because I scrubbed really good. But I do hope, like, by the end of the week, like, this can be gone. Because, like, I've been trying to get rid of this. It's just like, a, like one or two, like, it's like one, two, three pimples. But it's like they're like scars, I think. So those gotta go. Okay, so the next product is the moisturizer. And this is another one I'm a little worried about because this is like, I don't know, I've, I, sometimes my skin just reacts to moisturizer. It's really weird. So we'll see. But I'm just gonna put one pump. Well, it comes out. Okay. I can see why people might not like this pump. It was kind of hard to get it out. And I can also see how there's not a lot of product in here, to be honest. That doesn't seem like there's a lot in there. Because, like, you can kind of feel that this right here is just a bunch of air. So, not a fan of that. But whatever. We'll see. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Alright. So, I did put a lot, kind of. But it's fine. So, we're just going to be very gentle. Because I don't like to pull on my skin. I also don't want to put too much on my eyes because that's like another like sensitive area. Like right here is really where I'm sensitive or right here. So just gonna be careful. Honestly, I really like this. This feels really good on my skin. Oh, I really like that. It just feels like lightweight but moisturizing, which I love because like I said, I have oily and dry skin. So I don't want something too much i really like this 
Okay, my camera's about to die, so we're gonna finish this off real quick. So the next product that she used was the vitamin C serum, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and do this. Okay, I'm just gonna put that much on. Oh, I like that. I feel like it's like really, I like how it's like making my skin, you know, like moisturize, a little glowy, but not too much. I like it. This feels pretty good. I mean, I'm not sure what it's doing, but it feels good on my skin. Like my skin feels so soft right now. And then the last product I'm going to use is the eye cream, which I'm really excited for because I have such bad under eye circles and I have no idea how to get rid of them. So hopefully this does the trick. Oh, look at that applicator there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it like this. Put it like that and put it like that. Nothing crazy. Oh, my camera's gonna die. All right, so I'm just gonna rub this in really gently. All right, so there we go. And that is what I look like <laughs> after using her products. Um, honestly, my skin is not burning, which I'm so happy about because I was so scared. It's like the redness went down. It's not burning, so that's a good sign. So I just wanted to give you a little better view of my skin after using the products. Um, it's a little red from where I scrubbed, which obviously, but this is what my skin looks like right now. And honestly, it looks very like glowy, moisturized, but not too much. And I'm honestly, I really like it. My skin's so soft right now. And so far, I like it. So this video was just the first impressions and unboxing everything. So make sure to subscribe so you can see my next video where I keep you updated on how my skin looks and if I actually think the products are worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe. Bye!